present and as a result other technological advances, new practices of laser occupation in society are beginning to appear. The global community is immersed in a process of change in which physical limitations are beginning to be overcome thanks to the technological implementation in the day-to-day life of the human being. One of the fields that is starting to experience change at a dizzying rate is the so-called video game industry. In its beginnings, this industrial area was based on the individual experience of the player as a mere activity with which to occupy his or her free time. However, thanks to the widespread appearance of the internet in homes in the 90s, this relationship changed in such a way that the concept of the network player appeared, bringing a series of advantages which were unknown until then, and which led to a change in the gaming experience. Today, this experience is based on the so-called multiplayer modes in which the person without having to leave his or her home can interact with others, share equipment, play games, exchange messages, etc. As a result of this profound change in the virtual entertainment industry, what is now known as eSport began to emerge, adding a competitive aspect to the video games. The growth of this field in recent years has been such that a whole underworld has developed in the form of virtual leagues, event promotion and marketing companies around video games and professional teams. In fact, the expansion and economic impact has been so great that the debate has opened up in society as to whether e-sport can be considered a sport. Traditionally, sport has been granted to the most activity with a competitive character which is characterized by a great deal of clear regulation and which was protected under the halo of an association or federation. However, following the proposal made by Wagner, with the emergence of electronic games and their economic boost, it is necessary to redefine the term sport, emphasizing the elimination of the motor section. Thus, sport can now be understood as cultural theory or activity in which there is a voluntary exchange with another person or persons with the conscious intention of developing and training skills of cultural importance and comparing themselves at the level of these skills according to a regulation and without the deliberate intention of causing harm to the person with whom they interact. Following this definition, e-sports will fall into the category and could be considered as a sport because Besides the simple fact of virtual interaction, there is a series of factors that involve it within the considerations such as cultural and social interaction, following rules established by developers of the video games or the promoter of events, leagues or federations require skills mainly of a cognitive nature and fine motor skills which will be compared with the opponents and are practiced by a multitude of people. Currently, there is a general lack worldwide of federation or association that preserve the values and essence of eSports. Therefore, in view of the growing social demand and the great influence of electronic games, it is necessary to draw up a code of ethical conduct or behavior aimed at both competitive players and managers to ensure the proper development of the values and aims of e-sport for those people, especially children and teenagers who practice this activity in their free time. Ensuring the inclusion of the social and ethical aspect of electronic games will follow the guidelines set by the traditional sports federation which have ethical codes at an institutional level to ensure good practice during the competitive development of their discipline. Following objectives are derived from the elaboration and compliance with this code of ethics. To establish a framework of conduct in the competitive field of eSports focused on sporting values, fair play, comradeship, and social inclusion. To serve as a reference for future practitioners by preserving the above mentioned values over time. To categorize those types of electronic games which, due to their structure and format centered on violence, racism, and sportsman-like behavior or others, are not in line with the original values of sport. 
to categorize those typologies of electronic games that are considered suitable for achievement of appropriate values. The eSports will be considered as ethically responsible based on the possibility of achieving the different aspects of the following code of ethics. Sportsmanship in eSports, integrity in actions, rejection of aggressive behavior, rejection of sexist or marginalized behavior, cooperation in the achievement of common objectives, social inclusion, equality in technological resources, on the licensing of language in electronic games, and promoting responsibility in practice. Sportsmanship is understood as a principle of positive conduct based on respect for established rules and for the competent authorities in charge of moderating the different sports practices, respect and understanding of differences with colleagues and rivals. So-called sporting behavior arises from sportsmanship. For example, after winning a match, the winners encourage their mates of the opposite team or know how to handle a defeat respecting the members of the opposite team and the team itself. All actions of people involved in sport must be characterized by maintaining behavior based on good faith and honesty. In the sporting environment, fair play is the basis of confidence in the game and any form of alteration of the normal course of a sporting competition may constitute fraud. All conduct which is intended to harm either physically or mentally an opponent, teammate, coach, referee or members of the public either during or outside the competition will be rejected and penalized by internal rules. In a plural and plural society, those behaviors that aim at segregation on the grounds of gender, ethnicity, disability, ideology or religion through the use of different means of communication, verbal, written, online, etc., so as any participant in the competitive activity will be rejected and penalized by the rules and regulations or competent body with the stipulated commissions. Electronic games have a great potential in terms of cooperative and collaborative work due to the very nature of competitive games. Games with stable teams, characters with a certain role in the game, with a specific function or characteristic, etc. One of the main objectives of regulated competition in eSports should be the promotion of teamwork toward the achievement of victory. This competitiveness must be worked from the teams in a competitiveness toward the respect of the opponent. Electronic games remove various limitations that motor sports have been experiencing, such as the possibility of physically disabled players to participate under the same conditions as those without physical limitations. The ability to be able to compete virtually by eliminating border restrictions or large movements, the inclusion of women in traditional competitive teams under equal regulatory conditions, etc. Esports must promote, as far as possible, the inclusion of those sectors of society with a greater risk of social exclusion. Taking advantage of this of the characteristics of electronic games in order to achieve greater inclusion and integration of these social groups, using competition as a space for recognition. Equity in sports practice is a reference value in motor sports. In the field of electronic games, this equity must be built around the same playing experience for all team members. Therefore, as the main material, the organization of the different events must provide the members with their necessary technological resources to guarantee a quality experience at the same level as the rest of the components of the same team and the opposing team. On the other hand, as far as the characteristics of the game itself are concerned, no alteration will be allowed in the game's commands that help or facilitate the player's work by giving him an advantage over his opponents beyond those stipulated at the organizational and regulatory level. The different electronic games have a fundamental aspect, which is the interaction among the participants. This interaction can be mediated in three ways. 
without language, with set or prescribed sentences, or with open language. It will be fundamental that in this type of games, language licenses are taken into account, where the use of inappropriate language between participants is not allowed, and sanctions may be imposed in the case of using this form of dialogue both orally and in writing. Nowadays, the practice of electronic games is carried out by a large number of children and adolescents. For this very reason, clubs should encourage responsible and moderate practice of these games to avoid vicious behavior. The professional players themselves must become social references and examples in which these adolescents will have as a reference for this or their behavior. In order to ensure the promotion of values by eSports, a categorization is proposed below in terms of the promotion and educational potential that they can have on job. Educational games. These are games based on values such as self-improvement, teamwork, sportsmanship, companionship, solidarity, and tolerance. In these games, there is no predominance of violence, although certain actions can be used to overcome the opponent, which do not involve aggressive verbalization or the presence of pixels in the form of blood. Some of these games are Hearthstone, Zelda, or Mario Kart. Games aimed at leisure with a possible orientation towards educational values. These are games in which the main aim is not to promote educational values, but that by the very organization of them, it will be possible to obtain educational values depending on the player's objectives. Some games belonging to this category are Clash Royale, League of Legends, Gifted, World of Warcraft, or Minecraft. Games aimed at later with transmission of negative values. These are games in which the presence of acts of attack, verbal language, or actions are not considered appropriate for the transmission of educational values. Some of these games may be Fortnite, Call of Duty, or Counter-Strike. Sports games. These are games based on traditional motorsports. The main ones are the following. FIFA, Pro Evolution Soccer, NBA, Formula One, etc. Within this category, there will be no place for those sports based on combat, explicit acts of bloodshed or revelation of insults or inappropriate language. Esports can be considered as sports as long as they meet a series of criteria that mainly refer to the promotion of positive values that can be included in traditional sports activities. Although the physical component is not as remarkable as most of sports activities. The most important thing within any sport activity is the work of aspects that can be useful for people in their current and future development. It could be worked with this type of sports if it is properly oriented like in any other sport. Thus, it is important to classify and understand as well as adapting to the age of the participants. Sport does not educate by itself. By doing it properly, with an adequate methodology, positive values could be promoted.